Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you've got some directionals and you want them to blink, but you want them to blink with LED bulbs, they don't. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your directionals work with LED bulbs. Now this right here is a turn signal circuit. I have the right turn signals and I have the left turn signals. If you just buy some LED light bulbs and you plug them into your turn signals, what often happens is you have no more turn signals. They turn on, but they don't do anything. And there's a very good reason for that, so let me actually explain why this happens, and then I'll show you how to fix it. Now this right here is your turn signal flasher. It is actually what makes the light bulbs flash. Now here's one up close. If you look inside, right here is a bunch of little metal pieces. These metal pieces are pretty cool because when the electricity flows through them, the metal actually bends because it actually warms up. Now, what's supposed to happen is the electricity flows through, the metal warms up, and it bends, and it actually breaks the electricity contact, contact and it makes it so the lights go out. But then it cools down again, and it comes back together. And then as soon as the electricity flows through, it opens back up, and then it cools down and it comes back together. So it ends up making and breaking a contact, which is what makes your bulbs actually flash. Now the problem with LED bulbs is they don't have enough electricity flowing through here to make the little tab warm up and open up and close. So LED bulbs need a totally different type of flasher. Let me show you. Now this is a flasher for an LED circuit and it works in a totally different way. Let me show you. Inside is a circuit board. Now this is kind of ridiculous because this case is huge and it just covers up this little tiny circuit board. It's completely un unnecessary, but that's beside the point. Inside is a circuit board. So instead of having a metal spring that opens and closes because it heats up, it has witchcraft that goes on in a circuit board. You know, whatever kind of magic happens here and the electricity flows through, and whatever happens on this board tells the electricity to open and close the circuit, and then your lights flash. And LED bulbs have to use this because, again, they don't have the enough electricity to actually heat up the metal inside the old style. So let's swap this into the circuit, and I'll show you what happens. All right, so we now have the LED flasher in the place of the old style flasher, and we're gonna flick the switch and see what happens. All right, so now the incandescent bulbs, they still flash normally. And the LED bulbs, they flash normally. Now, let's flick the hazard switch and see if that works. Sure enough, it does. But there's something else that I need to, t that I need to tell you about. If you were to swap these wires around on this flasher, you're gonna find that it no longer works. So check this out. And we'll try it on this side. So these style flashers, the wires have to be hooked up the right way because if they're not, the circuit doesn't work right, it gets mad and it no longer flashes. So now that I've swapped the wires back, we now have flashers again. So in short, you have to make sure these wires are hooked up properly. The circuit right here actually tells you how to do it. There's a positive and then there's an L, which is a load. So make sure you wire this properly. It's pretty easy to do. If you mix it up, you can just swap them around. It doesn't usually burn out the flasher if you mix it up. So there's not much to worry about. So there you are. If you put your LED bulbs in your car and suddenly your flashers don't flash, you need to swap your old style flasher for a new style flasher. And it's really easy to do. I'll have a link down in the description for this exact flasher and I'll probably even have a, um, a link for this one as well. Uh, in fact, I'll have a link for all this stuff in the description if you're interested in making it. If you want to just make this circuit for your hot rod or ATV or, you know, moped, whatever, I actually have a link for the video for this exact circuit as well. So if you just wanted to copy this circuit, you know, you can do that too. If you like the video, please subscribe. Definitely give it a like and leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment area. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one.